It's a double rainbow. Oh yeah, harkens back to some simpler times. Man, let me capture. Capture. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa there. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Shush. <laughs> oh, beautiful. We just had a uh, uh, sky fall. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. Yeah, yeah, we had uh, storms. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh boy. Oh, there she is. She was peeking and she's just like, ah. <laughs> is that the neighbor boy? I want to come over and talk to the neighbor boy. If you help me with some boxes, if you take them down to the stairs, I'll give you 50 cents. <laughs> hey, baby. That got kind of crazy there, didn't it? <laughs> that got kind of crazy. Ooh, it's chilly out right now. It was warmer before. I mean, it's it wasn't particularly warm. Warm, warm. It's spring. It's like spring warm. And it's like, oh, it's like 65. Oh, my gosh. We have some cats that are still hunkering down. Hunker cats. Hunker kitties. Hunkering and a bunkering. But when the, and I've talked about these types of phenomenons where uh, when you get a lot of water come down from the sky, it actually pulls a lot of upper level air it pulls it down with it. Look at these. Maybe it helped to chase out some of those little ground, those ground mice and voles and moles and stuff. Oh, we got puddles. We got puddles. Puddles. Boo! <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's weird. It's chilly. And the rain is, it's chilly. Natal! Natal! I see her. There's Natal's whiskers. There's Natal's... There's... Natal's whiskers and then a little bit of his ear tuft. Or maybe... No, that's cheek. Whisker, cheek, and ear. Whisker, cheek, and ear. There's him! There's his head! There's all of him! There he is! <laughs> Hi! Oh my gosh! What did you think of all that stuff? That was the lie! That was crazy! It got crazy there for a little bit. It kind of did. One of those things where uh, the type of rain where it'd be, uh, it would be hard to see the enclosure, right, that the, the kids' enclosure from here. But yeah, the, uh, All the rain falling from the sky, it pulls all of the upper level atmosphere, uh, upper, upper level atmospheric air. Hi. <laughs> Which is cooler. 
due to the uh, adiabatic cooling process. Which is basically when particles, when particles have room to move away from each other, they rub up less and there's less friction and then they, they cool down. And it oftentimes gets confused with this idea like, well, then how do you explain whenever you cool, whenever you cool things down, then particles will kind of bunch together. Okay, well, you have to think what comes first. Because whenever you take a piece of air and then you move it up, there's more space. There's more space for it to kind of spread out. So the spreading happens first and then the cooling happens as a result of the spreading. When you have things like compression... Or compressional cooling or the fact or the fact that yeah temperature goes down and if so fact what causes like particles to mush together so it's like it's a matter of kind of what's the what's the first so what is what's the catalyst Ooh. Not to be also confused with, like, compressional warming. Where when you have particles that bunch together, like, really rapidly, then it actually causes, like, temperatures to rise. I guess, so, yeah, that's the, that should be the thing. It's like, oh, so if the pressure, if the pressure differentials or if, like, atmospheric forces cause the particles to then, like, mush or widen. So mush causes the warming and then the widening causes the cooling. But then if you just have temperature in absentia, temperature effects in absentia of the actual kind of, like, pressure-related stuff or the temperature... Uh, effects are the more dominant. So cooler temperature will cause the compression, and then hotter temperatures causes causes the decompression. It's crazy. It's it's yeah. It gets confusing. It's confusing, but it, it is the way it is. So I guess that's the, the real question. It's all about temperature. Is temperature the cause, or is temperature the byproduct? If it's the cause, then it's one way. If it's the byproduct, then it's flipped. Yeah. Hi. Hello. I know. Just just so much water. Hey, but you know we needed it. Hey. We <laughs> That's the ty- that's a typical kind of dad response. Yeah, you know that rain it can be kind of annoying, but we needed it. Hello. Oh, that puddle's cold. <laughs> I stepped in. I stepped in it. Oh, hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. Everyone's coming out of their shelters. Surveying the area, wondering like what, what happened, and then I mean, then there's Boomer. <laughs> I wonder if I, he wouldn't be surprised if he was there the entire time. Stop smelling your brother's beanbag, please. Don't do that. Save it for Patreon. That's whatever. That's really what they. Uh, most of the subscriptions go for stuff like that. Whoa! 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 <laughs> I know a rally is just like, come on, save it for Patreon. We can't be, we can't be letting that stuff go for free. Such content needs to have a price tag associated to it. I'm really selling it. (laughs) People are like, man, it's just really, I'm clamoring now to, to, to join up. It's just what I, it's what I've been looking for. Hi. 
I literally, I was about to snuffle at you, but I'm glad that I didn't because that would have made me look silly. <laughs> Man, I did something kind. Of, all right, I did something kind of silly. A um, Heidi was up in the suites last night. She's been, we've been renovating, uh, basically. There's two suites and technically now it's just one suite because what we've done is, you know, like knocked down a wall or like added, like added a walkway between the two. And instead of having like two, you know, like bedroom areas, now there's a, like a bed, like a master bedroom. And then there's going to be like a sitting area that's going to have a fold out couch, but it's all like nice, you know, high end stuff and things and items. And it's decorated really good and. Uh, Heidi's been working really hard at uh, at getting the room tip top, and I I help here and there, little things. She'll be like, "Can you please help me like put this heavy thing up on top of this thing?" And I'm like, "I know just the guy. I can do stuff like that." Or we're putting together cabinets, or just you know, husband and wife stuff. But she was uh, putting some finishing touches on some things. She was vacuuming. I found a, a wax melt, and it was like leftover from like, it was like Christmas one. It was like uh, it was like vanilla and pine. Hi. It was a vanilla and pine wax melt. Hey, boom, boom, boom's like, what? Or why did you turn the lights on? Well, hello, Mr. Potato. Oh, big stretch. Did you stay down here the entire time too? Makes sense because all of this is dry. All of this is like bone, well, not bone dry, but a lot of these areas. So like, see, this is still, this is still just dust. It's dust. Everything else is like soaked. So it's actually pretty impressive. Testament to Calvin's engineering skill. That everything down here stayed dry. I found a wax melt that was, um, yeah, vanilla <laughs> and pine. It was like very festive and like holiday type. And I'm like, you know what? That would be, that wouldn't be like the worst smell to have on you. <laughs> Let me do a test. Let me do a proof of concept. So let's see if I can take this wax melt and like tr treat it almost kind of like a, maybe like a, almost kind of like a cologne of sorts or uh like i started i had the idea like i i took like a little bit and i was just kind of i was just kind of like i was just kind of like mm, what's there, what's there? and then i started taking more and i was just like let's like rub it <laughs> i was bored i was bored i was just up in the thing and i just had a wax melt and heidi was like vacuuming and just kind of like putting some finishing touches and i'm like uh, yeah. mm. that's nice <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this could be a thing. Could be my new thing. Could like, uh, you know, like my then my ascension to be, uh, you know, like a young Santa Claus could be, uh, you know, more complete. And it did work. It was one of those things where it's like, oh man, I actually like, you know, I smell kind of like piney. That's nice. And then, but I I forget like, oh, wax wax melts have like. A lot of like really strong, they're like strong room perfume. <laughs> and I'm like sitting there up in the room and I'm like, I'm just like, why am I getting a sinus headache? <laughs> I'm like, and then I mean like quickly, I'm just like, oh, that was, oh no. <laughs> oh no, that was dumb. But then we had to go and do a bunch of, so we had to like take a bunch of boxes and I'm, we're loading up the truck and we're doing a bunch of things and then go over to the dumpster. So like the entire time. The entire time we're having to go from one place to the next place to the next place and do this other thing. Just finish up stuff. Finish up nighttime stuff. I smell wonderful. I smell like a pine forest, you know, like a vanilla, 
magical pine forest and I just have this, just this bad, just kind of like, eh, like this, like a chemically induced ice cream headache. And I'm just like, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Why did I do this? Yeah, even the other part of me is like, for science. <laughs> and now we know. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as I got up to the house, I mean my face right in the sink. <laughs> face in the sink, scrub-a-dub-dub. Thanks for the grub. Yeah. Next time I just won't use as much. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. She's a good girl. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi ZZ. Hey Petey girl. She's a good girl. Yeah. Does she have stuff? Do you have stuff to say? Do you have stuff to talk about? That's okay. You can talk about it. Were those storms pretty, were they, were they scary? Or did you just not really care? Or is it one of those things where it's like, finally, my environment is matching like the chaos that's already just happening inside of my brain? I get that. Oh, my outsides finally match my insides. Gonna be on a bobcat watch. I'm guessing because it got chilly and kind of scary. Oh, oh, there was one, there's one, there's one. There was one. I don't know, it's gonna be hard to tell. Oh, Bob. 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 Oh. Hey, Diego. Okay. What about this guy? Can we see him? Yeah, you can kind of see him. Now you can really see him. And now you can kind of see him. Really? Kind of. All right. Well, most of it was just rain. Most of like the wind and the hail, I think, was further down to the south. So thank goodness for that. We didn't get the we didn't get the real wacky stuff. But that that is all I know. So thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep those tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your continued support. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Monkey's butter toast. Munchy saw a ghost. Miko weighs the most.